Okay, that was the Mighty Priest uh, speaking. I only got about three up in here. Give me uh, Micah 2 and 10 and give me Psalm 7 and 11. There's nothing to talk about in these last days. You know, just like the priest was saying, there's absolutely nothing to talk about. You know, just like the Bible says, just like history court tells, Kurt tells it also, okay, this place must fall. The Most High said that this place is at the end. You know, like the brother's been saying for the last past maybe hour, this place has to end. It can't go on any longer like it is. You know, like the brother was saying, this place is filthy, okay? It not only has it polluted, okay, the, the physical part of what you're saying, what you're seeing here in society, but it also has polluted the minds of the people as well, too, okay? It's nothing to talk about. It's nothing to be to discuss, okay, in these last days. The so-called Europeans, along with these all other nations, they was the ones who went around the earth and raped and robbed and murdered, okay, and did what they did. And now it's payback time. You can riot all you damn want to, okay? You can pay up. The most High says what? The most High says payback, okay, is coming to America. Give me the book of uh, Micah, okay, 2 and 10, King. Come on. This is the book of Micah, 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. Yeah, it's like the brothers are saying. Arise and depart out of the mindset, okay, out of America. Okay, because this is the place, okay, that got you thinking that you could do what the hell you want to do. The so-called white man has taught you so-called Negroes, okay, immorality. Anything that he thinks of and he can conjure up, he's the negative part, he's the negative side, okay, of you. You're the righteous and he's the negative. When you read this Bible with proper understanding, okay, with proper understanding and knowledge, okay, you'll understand that every law that they've made up is against the Bible. Come up here and test us. All right. Even the foods that you eat, even the way your pastor teaches and what he teaches you is adverse to the things that's in this Bible. OK, because why? Because the damn devil is ruling. OK, you're going to find out that the so-called Europeans, OK, were put on this earth to play the negative part. OK, they're the physical counterparts, OK, of Satan. And nobody's proved us wrong. OK, they're here to play the part of Satan and to do the devil's work. Anything that you can think of, OK, starting from A to Z. Okay, this man is contrary to the things that's written in the Bible. He's against the Most High. He's against nature. And he's against you so-called Negroes. All right? When you do the history and you do the math on it, okay, you come back and you tell us we lying. Every law that this man has made up that he put in the Constitution and said in this amendment is against the so-called Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans. You do the history on that. And to this very day, okay, the Heavenly Father says it's time to wake up. We getting the hell up out of here. It's going to be a second exodus. The children of Israel came out of Egypt one time. It's never been a second exodus again. But we coming out of America, just like the Bible says. Hit it again, King. Arise ye and depart. Yeah, that's what the brothers been saying all day. Okay? You better rise up and you better depart out of the ways, okay, of these so-called Europeans. They're the ones who got your minds, okay, all twisted. The damn devil, the damn white man, okay, he what? He promotes evil. Okay? And that's the way that this thing goes out. That's the way America is set up. Point blank. Okay? And the Most High said, Arise ye and depart. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. The Most High said, This place ain't our rest. Okay? You can see that clearly. Okay? The things that the so called white man has done to you. This is not our rest. Okay? We broke the laws during the time of Moses. Okay? That's the reason why we're in the punishment that we're in. When you read the Bible, when you read the book of Deuteronomy 28 chapter, okay, the curses don't fit nobody else but the so-called Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans, okay, and Mexicans. The so-called white man that's fighting, okay, over there in Israel, okay, he's not a Jew. The real Jews on this earth are the so-called Negroes that was brought over here into slavery, okay, in the 1600s and the early 1500s. Those are the real Jews. That's the big secret that the so-called white man is masquerading and hiding from you. That you the children of Israel and Christ is a black man and he's coming back to redeem you out of slavery. That's the big secret on this earth. You so-called Negroes ain't found it out yet. A lot of you want to party. A lot of you want to go to a damn day party. Okay, a party. The Most High is requiring you that you know your nationality and you come back and return yourself to him before it's all over. Come on, King. Arise ye and depart. Most High said, arise and depart. For this is not your rest. Most High said, this place ain't your rest. It's no filthy place, man. It's no stinking place. The damn devil is ruling. Okay? So how can the hell can it be clean? The Most High said, arise and depart. For this ain't your rest. Because it is polluted. Most sides said this place is polluted. Your minds is polluted right along with it. Okay? Anything the so-called white man tells you to do, you do. He tells you how to dress your kids. Okay? He tells you how to raise your kids. He tells you what to eat. He tells you what to tell your damn kids. He tells you to take a shot. He tells you to put on a mask. He tells you to worship himself as Christ. And you so-called niggas, you do it. Don't you know he did that for white supremacy? 
There's no proof in the Bible that the that a European, okay, was Christ. All history books point tells and points that he was a black man along with the rest of the tribes on his side. The Mexicans are our brothers. The Puerto Ricans are our brothers. The Dominicans are our brothers. Okay, and the sisters also, all right? The Cubans are our brothers and sisters. The people on the West Indian Islands, okay, are our brothers and sisters. The damn white man departed us, okay, and he scattered us through North Central and South America through slavery. That's the reason why we're fighting against each other, and we don't know who we are, okay? Systematically, this man did this through time, okay? And it worked, okay? It worked, okay? He inoculating you through that damn poison that you call schools. How the hell you, I, I got a question to ask. How are you still allowing the damn white man to teach your kids about presidents that had slaves, man? I don't understand that. Here it is, he teaching your kids to salute a damn flag, okay, that ain't got nothing but evil written on it. George Washington, all of them had slaves. Why don't you Negroes protest that? How you let this man get away with that? You'll protest all damn day long about something that ain't got nothing to do with reality. But your kids are learning about your slave masters. That's the reason why your kids, when they go to school, they're learned and they're taught from a bottom down what to go and work for slave master. Never to open up your business on your own, okay? But to work for slave master. Come on, King. Because it is polluted. Oh, so I said this place polluted, Hassan. Come on. It shall destroy you. Oh, so I said this place shall destroy you, okay? And it has. It destroyed our minds. That's the reason why you got a lot of Negroes today going around talking about Christ as a so-called white man. That's the reason why, okay, you got black people going around celebrating Halloween. You black women tomorrow, you gonna celebrate a day called Mother's Day. Come up here and show me in the Bible, okay, where it says you supposed to celebrate Mother's Day. One of the Ten Commandments, you supposed to honor, okay, your father and your mother. You supposed to honor your father and mother, okay, every day. Don't let the so-called Europeans, okay, put it in your mind and tell you and put on a calendar and tell, they tell you how to live your life. They even do that too, through a damn calendar. Come up here and show us in the Bible where it says that you're supposed to celebrate Mother's Day and bring your mother flowers, okay, and kiss her feet and do all that. You're supposed to do that anyway. Don't let the damn white man tell you what to do. Let the Most High tell you what to do. Let him guide you. You're supposed to show your love through doing these commandments. And one of the commandments is not celebrating pagan holidays. Okay, come on. Because it is polluted. Most I said this place is polluted. Filthy, in other words. Come on. It shall destroy you. Most I said this place is going to destroy us. Our minds, our bodies, okay, and our souls. Call it a reader, King. Come on. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 7, verse 11. God judgeth the righteous. Yeah, we've been judged, okay, as a people. Don't you think and don't you ever consider and wonder why, okay, it's not a coincidence that we're on the bottom, okay, of all nations, when we invented every damn thing in sight, okay, when a damn white man came over here and brought you over as slaves, we didn't go to college, we went from the slave ships to the auction blocks and straight to work. There was no school in between and nobody to teach us nothing. So what the hell is that telling you? Put one and one together. Read the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6 when it says, we the special people. Right. The white man didn't teach us a damn thing. That's your so-called Negro's problem, okay? You think your damn slave master taught you everything, but he taught you how to be subservient, okay, with two words, okay, white supremacy. And that's what the damn devil did. That's the reason why you got such a low self-esteem about yourself. When you were the princesses, we were the kings, and we ain't captivity. The damn white man can't live without us, man, no matter what he tell you, okay? That's the reason why he got social security cards and passports, so he can keep a damn eye on his damn slaves. If we was to uproot and vote and have a damn march, priest, okay, to get the hell out of America, don't you know the white man would die? Yep. Don't you know this society would be finished as you know it? Yeah. If the Negroes, Wesley, and Puerto Ricans, if we was to get the hell up out of here, he know it. That's the reason why he keep you in your mind state like you is. Come on. It says, God judges the righteous. And we've been judged. Okay, as a people. Okay, because we're the righteous, he's the negative. Come on. And God is angry with the wicked. No, he's happy. Angry. He's happy. Angry. He's happy. Angry. angry. Mosai peace. Come on. With the wicked every day. Mosai said he's angry. Okay, with the wicked every day. That's our father. Okay. You think he likes seeing his children suffering up under this damn devil? You think he likes seeing his children going through the things that we're going up under our slave masters? 
You Negroes are going backwards, man. Okay, you think voting, okay, is gonna save you. Or you black men going around talking about you gonna join a damn frat, okay, and you a damn cute dog, okay? The only thing you is, you a damn, you a damn Negro, I want to say something else, I'm sorry. You a damn Negro, okay, stomping, okay, on the damn floor, okay, like a damn fool, man. The Greeks was white people. Show me in the Bible where it says you supposed to take a paddle and hit your damn brother on the damn butt and talk about that's brotherhood. Right. Show it to me in the Bible. You got your damn brothers on a damn line, okay, hugging up with one another like a bunch of damn freaks, man. I don't want nobody behind me, man. And I damn sure don't want no nigger in front of me, man. Huh. They teach you that in college, and they teach you, okay, that's the only damn way that you're going to be successful in America, okay? Go to a damn college, okay? You go to college, learn. Open up a business for your damn black community, okay? If any damn thing, okay? You a damn frat brother, you hugging up each other on the damn line. I'm number seven. You behind your damn brother like a damn freak, man, okay? Read it again, King. Come. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. Sometimes. Every day. Most times. Every, every day. day. Once a week. Every, every day. day. Most times said he's angry with the wicked every damn day, man. And why shouldn't he be? His children is in slavery, okay? Your slave masters been mistreating you, lying to you, inoculating you with damn poison, man, okay? Which way you want to go? But I'm going to let the next king come up. I may come up a little bit later. Okay, focus your attention on this brother, Hassan. Shalom. Shalom.